So last night was a uh, very vivid and... Why did I just use... The, why did I just say fucking vivid? That was the worst shit ever. Alright, anyway. Last night was quite the fun experience and quite the weirdest. We went to a show, see my friend's band play, and they were great, okay? They were fucking awesome. Like, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna leave their links, too, in the description if you guys wanna check them out. Um, they would just do live stuff, but... I went there to see them because I've never seen them before, and they were great. It really impressed me. But uh, some other shit happened there, and it just reminded me of like why I stopped going to like smaller shows around the area when I was younger. And that this was just when I was younger. I would still go now because I could handle this. But when I was like 12, and th I've talked about it before. When I was really young, I went to shows like really like hardcore ass shows, and I would just sit there on the side of like the stage and watch because little 12 year old Luna didn't want to go and fucking die and get his nose chopped off in a mosh pit somewhere. So <laughs> last night I was at this show and I tweeted, I was like, I love music, but some of it is a little terrifying. And people were like, what the fuck does this mean? You're terrifying. What, what music do you listen to, dude? Um, it was just last night I was at the show and it made me tweet this. There's this girl, she gets on stage, um, and like she just looked like the classic, like one girl show. She had like the, the acoustic guitar, she had the mic set up. And she starts singing. And, it, you know, it was really good at first. You know, like, really, really good. And then she unleashes this sound. This sound that fucking horrified me. I don't know if she... I, I think she was sick. I'm being dead serious. I think she was literally sick. She was in the middle of singing. Sounded completely normal. And she just goes... <sighs> like, fucking straight up. That was the sound she made. And she starts coughing. Like, in the middle of her set. And it's... She made it look like it was, like, part of the show. And uh, she just starts coughing. And she didn't... Like, she had water. So, like, if she was really sick... I think she would reach for it, but, um, I know somebody would be like, dude, that's just some fucking, some unique art right there. It's some premium art. Fuck no, it isn't. Um, I mean, I, I love, like, hard fucking rock. Like, there's screaming involved in that. That's great, and it fits in with the music, but acoustic guitar with, like, screaming is, uh, something I just wouldn't say fits together. I don't know, maybe, I mean, I guess if that's your kind of music, then that's cool. I've, I've just never seen that before, and it fucking freaked me out. Like, she was in the middle of singing, like, completely, like, normal acoustic covers and stuff like that, and she just unleashed that fucking sound that sounded like she was, like, resurrected directing fucking dead zombies so i was like all right i'm, I'm done with that and i just kind of got on my phone and then tweeted and, and everyone's that's when everyone was like why are you terrified and there's your answer for everyone that was still confused but yeah i also went to the bathroom because i drank a fucking large drink on the 50 minute drive over to this venue so i ran in there shortly after going in there i was just peeing you know doing my thing and the bathroom was uh, quite looked like a crime scene i'm not gonna lie the bathroom that's like the only word i could think of to describe this shit it literally looked like a crime scene um and it was kind of scary there was like a moon on the fucking uh the stall made me think of the shrek movie where like he busts out of the goddamn stall i just thought i'd be washing my hands i'd look in the mirror behind me and fucking shrek Some donkey. just bust out of the stall he starts stretching and he just goes about, you know, doing his ogre activities, but it's no joke, little things like that that would remind me of when I was like 12 and 13 years old going to these shows and just being terrified over the littlest shit. Now, obviously, it doesn't bother me, but like, it's still funny to look back on. Um, and there was other things there, obviously. There was a, a little backstage area where I was hanging out for a little bit with some of the band members, and a few of them were really fucking creepy, like really creepy. I actually went to the bathroom later that night, and one of them was like sitting there just in the mirror staring at himself, and he like didn't look at me when I walked in, so I just went to the urinal, and I'm sitting there, and he starts like practicing his vocals, which is 100% normal, but then he starts like being weird, like he gets real silent, and I just kind of like turn my head a little bit, and he's staring at me. I was like, okay, dude, don't fucking stab me six times, just please. And he's like, what's up, brosif? I was like, I haven't heard brosif in a while. What's up, dude? And he's just like, nothing. And he just slowly walked out staring at me. I was like, okay, this this is getting weird. And then I didn't go to the bathroom for the rest of the night. I fucking held it. I held it till my fucking bladder was about to explode. But yeah, I guess this whole thing just reminds me of when I was younger, dealing with the weird stuff. And um, my friend's band, though, they were fucking 10 out of 10. This video, at, at, like, I'm not trying to say that they were weird at all. They were fucking awesome, like, super good. Um, and I'll leave their shit in the description if you guys want to go check them out, their links and stuff like that, because they were great, really good. But yeah, um, I don't know, today's video, I just wanted to talk about it, because it was so funny, I was there last night, I was like, there's so much weird shit that goes on at these shows, like, and I have so many experiences from these shows, like, when I was 12, 13, so much shit happened that I witnessed that no 12-year-old should ever witness in my life, um, or in their life, yeah, and... I, I can totally do videos on it if you guys want to see that shit. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did, and uh, leave a comment below. I don't even know what I'm going to name this video. I'm probably just going to name it fucking Ah, just to symbolize the girl screaming into the microphone. And, yeah.
Peace.